This is the antinatalist. We have to show that it's been youth one enslaved mind at the time. I should include on Bone too, because that's what the channel is about. And today's star topic is don't be ashamed if you get fired or if you get work for or if you quit the job or spit whatever it is comes in my mind. But here it goes. Because you didn't ask to be here, you have a force of your selfish nativist parents uh, force you to be in here, uh, born, uh, uh, get birth you in here without your consent. Uh, this, this, you, you know, this world is a meaningless shithole. Life is a vicious cycle. This is a vicious cycle. You, uh, you, you might as well enjoy the meaningless life. And it's not worth it to be in here if your boss, manager, co-worker not treating you right, pay you low wage slavery, not able to enjoy life. But at the same time, uh, as long as you can aff afford it, I hate to say this, but but I know that uh, money is just paper, money comes, money goes. And at the same time, uh, we we did it. It we did it. It just uh, does. Just how the world works. The world is all monthly. Everything get monetized. We even have to get pay to uh, go uh, uh, to sit uh, somewhere on the ben bench. Go want wandering around some some teachers to wander around some place. Even got even we gotta pay for everything to live. You 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 know it just seems like that that homeless being homeless is technically a a crime. You'll be looked down upon if you oh anyways if you can afford it, don't be ashamed of quit, quitting your job. Don't be ashamed to get fired because the man, the chef or manager, probably natalists, they bring, bring out kids. They bring, they probably continue to bring, bring kids and not able, not afford to make the company improve the company better. Not being able to. Uh, afford to pay uh, livable wages to all the employees and not afford to improve a safer working condition. That's what happens with overpopulation because there's too many competition. Competition sucks and the, with competition, more unemployment and the uh, employees in the uh, the companies seem to uh, suffer and the companies not ending up not hire enough people. People end up work overtime, long hours, a lot of times without pay because they just keep on ha uh, having kids bring another wage slave into this million this shithole. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, with, with that's the problem with uh, in this so so sadly and uh, also if they if they stop hiring kids they could uh, hire when they stop having kids and they got they they can they can hire uh, another person as a ba uh, backup um, backup uh, they can. And have to 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 reduce overwhelming of another employ employee. If they hire another person instead of working eighty plus hour fucking hours per week, it should cut down to like a thirty thirty hours if they hire per week or maybe less the better. I would say between twenty to thirty hours. Hours is probably uh, the best balance. 
If they stop hiring kids, if they stop having kids, stop breed the old men, they they can hire. They would hire more per a person uh, to have a rotate in a sh shift. Shift and if it, if more of the boss managers the owners stop having kids. They're going to the the, the pay would uh, they uh, the employees going to get a livable pay, but now they don't because there's too many people overpopulation. It's not just in Canada and Western world; it's everywhere. Everywhere is overpopulated. The people with low IQ, they say that they can fit 20 billion people in Zanzibar. Get a, get the fuck out of here. You're, you're an idiot. And stop la stop laughing. And you, and you, and you might not, when you quit the job, you might not still enjoy life as long as you don't hurt animals, uh, kids, or plant plants. I say animals because. As long as you uh, you respect everything, I should, that's what I should say. Right, uh, I'm about to head to cross the street. Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, you you be forced to uh, born in this. You're getting bent over, and the manager's kids, the uh, owner kids, the master's kids uh, are are not going to change the world. They're going to they're going to be forced into the same old continue then the same cycle of getting bent over wage slavery what uh, whatever wage shit it is never never think <coughs> the the grand the grandparents once told the children or the children told the parents told the children that we're not gonna continue uh, this. Uh, don't repeat my mistake. And then, to, and then the moments later, they're gonna have. They have children, and the parents told the kids, uh, "Don't repeat the same mistake." And they tell them, "Have children. B bring me, bring me the grandchildren." And they could continue the same old cycle. That does that's the whole new level of insanity. Just insanity, doing the same shit over and over again, and expecting a different result. But the results are always going to be the same. I guarantee that. <coughs> it, uh, uh, and, and the like I said, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, point, uh, doesn't matter if they're either rich or poor, middle class business owner, whatever the status is, uh, whether you're, uh, it does not matter what nationality, uh, it's always going to be, it's, it's the same. You're going to be forced in this, uh, forced in this uh, meaningless business cycle. All right, I'll catch you guys and girls with another one.